Hi, I'm Patrick Risley. I'm pastor and teaching elder at First Presbyterian Church, Fort Lauderdale, and welcome to today's daily devotional that we call This One Thing, where we take a scripture from the Daily Common Lectionary and tease out one important thing that we're to remember for the day. Now, many of you may not know, but I was the founder of a church in Disney World years and years ago. Back in 1996, my family and I, we moved to Disney in the town of Celebration, and we started a new church development. It was quite an experience, let me tell you. We get there, and I had to immerse myself into the Disney culture and understanding of how they view the world. And the one thing that they taught me was service is vital. The way one treats a guest is vital. I saw it in the way that they would have their traditions classes, the classes where they would train their employees. Their employees are called cast members and as opposed to employees, and they called, instead of a tourist, folks are referred to, referred to as guests. And I like that. Even the words matter in the way we serve each other. Well, as I came here to Fort Lauderdale, I was pleased to find that we have many young lay leaders in our church who are also in that hospitality industry who understand what service means. I tell you what, they blow me away. I go out and I watch them work their tables. They're present to each and every customer. They're alive, they're vibrant. They wanna make sure the guest has the best dining experience they can. They teach me a lot about my own Christian walk. Have you ever heard of the Pareto Principle? The Pareto Principle was backed from 1865 by an Italian economist. And the whole notion is, is that 80% of returns are generated by 20% of investment. Now, you and I often know this rule as the 80-20 rule. And we see that not only in economics, but the Pareto rule, the 80-20 rule, is alive and well in the Church of Jesus Christ. You know the rule. 20% of the people invest their time and passions and service to produce 80% of the results of the ministry the Church accomplishes. And that's just an observation. There are many who would like to help but can't because of age. There are many that would like to help because of, but can't because of uh, physical infirmity or disability. But there is a large swath of people in American church who are waiting for the other 20 to do the work for them on behalf of the kingdom of God. It's not a criticism, beloved. It's an observation. Friends, imagine if we could take that Pareto rule and dump it on its head. Imagine if we could get 50% who are able to invest in building returns for the kingdom of God through a local church. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine what it would mean in stewardship if 50% of the people were investing into the work and life and ministry of the church, as opposed to just the 20, the 25? Our story today from Matthew chapter 20, verse, verse 28, is that Jesus is talking about service. Jesus is talking about how we serve each other. And not only each other, but most importantly, how we serve the other. Jesus, in talking with his disciples, as he's making his way to the final expression of his commitment to you and to me to die on the cross, he says, beloved, uh, he says, even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve 
and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve. Christ follower, church, Jesus is giving us an example to follow. We come as community not to be served, not to have our spiritual smorgasbord and buffet filled to what we want. We are called as community to serve Jesus. So friends, the one thing I want us to think about this week is, am I serving others or do I expect others to serve me? And how would Jesus view it? Friends, I love you and I'll see you a little bit later this week. Take care.